Hey, Missouri Nation, Jason here. A steep spiral. It's a commercial pilot maneuver, and the reason we practice this steep spiral is maybe that amazing landing site is right below us, and we just want to, we don't want to lose it, we don't want to drift away if we have an engine failure, so we steep spiral down to it. ACS really says two things about a commercial pilot steep spiral. One, I need to choose an altitude high enough to allow me to make three revolutions, three full turns, and recover obviously by 1,500 feet AGL, and my bank is up to and not to exceed 60 degrees. So often we put it in 60 degrees and we try to hold the whole way, it's not necessary because you need to compensate for wind drift. Now I'm gonna be a little bit different. I could just go out to the practice area and do it down to 1500 feet and recover before 1500 feet. I'm gonna try to steep spiral to a landing at Ocala. There's one other one in the pattern. Let's see how Tower feels about it real quick. Ocala Tower, Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu. Scott 2-3, Mike Zulu, Ocala Tower. Still have information, Mike, right over top the field, 3,000 feet. Was hoping to steep spiral down for a landing on 1-8, please, for a full stop. Okay, 2-3, Mike Zulu, that's approved. Uh, report the midfield left downwind for runway 1-8. Quite like a midfield left downwind for 1-8. I do understand you have one other one in the pattern. I'll be watching. I do. He's in right traffic. Shouldn't be a factor for you. Copy. All right, so he wants us on a left down one for 1-8. He's got one right traffic, so I'm going to stick to the left side of the field. And if I have to discontinue a traffic pattern, altitude will discontinue it. But it's still pretty good practice. So what I need now is I need a point. I was going to use the numbers 1-8, but instead I've got a good highway intersection. This is 60th Avenue and 40. Highway 40 that I'm going to use out here. And here's how it's going to work. You ready? I'm going to go in this plane, carburetor heat on. Smoothly apply my power back, and with a steep spiral, at least in Mike Zulu, you want your point just about below your tire, which I need to go a little bit this way if I'm going to make that happen. Literally, you should be looking out down, you should be just about underneath your tire, which it is now. We're going to bring the power back, and we're just going to roll on into her. You see my point right there? Can you see the, the, the highway intersection there? I'm at 50, 50 degrees of bank, 55 degrees of bank right here. Okay, I got some wind pushing me, so look how I'm going to roll out. This is just a super high performance turn around a point with a descent. My goal is to maintain the same distance all the way around. Now something else you want to get in the habit of is something called a clearing burst because oftentimes you're doing this from a very, very high up altitude. So you want maybe every 180 degrees, I go like this with the throttle, give it a little power. Make sure I didn't really kill the engine or you, because you could also shock cool the engine coming down from a very high altitude. I've got my point literally right out here. I'm about 55 degrees of bank is what I'm holding. I can really feel the G-forces here. Okay, now I'm coming, uh, the wind's pushing me away, so I'm steepening up some bank. And I'm telling you, this is just a, a super cool turnaround point <laughs> from high up descending down 2,000 feet. Let's start, okay, I see that touch and go traffic. He's on the upwind. I might be able to sneak this all the way on in. I'm going to let him know. Two there, Mike Sue is just about a pattern altitude. Now, I see he's on the upwind. You okay if I just take it right on into the numbers? Coming on in. Just for his sake. Over 2 3 Mike Zulu, Tar. Yep, 2 3 Mike Zulu, uh, I'm on that left downwind now. I see he's on the upwind. Are you okay if I just take it, this spiral right on into the numbers? Okay, uh, you're on the left downwind now. Oh, that's us. Hey, uh, runway 18, clear to land. Uh, uh, Skyline entering the right downwind. Have him in sight, 18, clear to land. Thank you, 2 3 Mike Zulu. He doesn't have radar, so it makes it a little bit tough on him. So, anyways. I rolled on out of that. Again, you're simulating. I was hoping I could do it over runway numbers. Now you're going to get to see a slip to land video. You ready to see this? Let's do this. Let's get some flappage in here. I'm back at idle. I'm at 1,000 feet on base. You ready to see something fun? That was your steep spiral video. Now we're, now we're changing gears. Okay. Now we're switching gears here. Now you get to see some fun stuff. Super, super high. How am I going to get down? I can slip for airspeed. I can slip for altitude. I can't slip for both at the same time. Just check this out. Only do this with your instructor, please. Nice little slip. I'm always keeping the nose down and forward, right? My airspeed's 75. I can hold this. I can do this in both directions, by the way, if I need to. I can kick it this direction as well. It's really about riding the wind, what is best. This direction's not working as well. Look at my track. The wind's really coming from that right side, so this slip's gonna work best. I went from being 1,000 feet on final 
to apply that touchdown just past the 1,000 foot marks. I'm at 73. You have to keep the nose coming down, though, if you want to pull something like that off. And again, slipping to land after a steep spiral is a very real thing. If altitude management wasn't, uh, wasn't done appropriately, eyes down the runway. Hold it here, hold it here, and there's our nice smooth landing. Awesome, M Zero Nation. Steep spiral. Two, three, Mike Zulu, turn left, Alpha Six, and you can taxi to parking with me. Alpha Six to parking with you. Thank you, Two, three, Mike Zulu. So you got to see a steep spiral <laughs> to a forward slip to landing, coming in a thousand feet on final. And again, I probably would have gotten another little revolution in before actually coming in to land, but I knew tower was kind of just doing me a favor there. So it really worked out. But you got to see uh, a fun video, different kind of unscripted, uh, some fun stuff. Emzor Nation, you are absolutely outstanding. Everything you do for us. Um, I just wish I could do half <laughs> for you that you do for us. Can't wait to read your comments below this video on YouTube, on Facebook, on m0a.com. Let me just wrap this up real quick. All cleaned up. Good, good, good. Taxiing us on home. Um, you already know about the uh, the new uh, LMS launch, website learning management system launch of our 50 hours uh, of new course material coming out for the online ground school. It is all for you. Many, many years uh, of work, a lot of, uh, a lot of love has gone into this for the entire M0A team. So I hope you'll check it out. It's m0arsvp.com if you would like to check that out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.